Hey guys, how are ya? My name is Sound of a Gap and this is Mass Effect Andromeda. And we're back with Capote and his adventures in the Andromeda Galaxy. But before we continue, let's take a look at what happened previously. Let's talk about our success on EOS. Besides establishing our first viable outpost, we did some amazing things. We discovered the remnant and breached their vault. And didn't get killed. Overcame radiation poisoning a number of mm -hmm. times. And didn't die. Confronted by Ket at every turn. Once again, did not get killed. Keeping Kesh and our colony safe will always be my top priority. That's why I'm happy to tag along, help make this galaxy a little more hospitable. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Hytiana to simple but loving parents just trying to... <laughs> <laughs> I look forward, not back right. Why snooze through my life story? Could be interesting. Get to know me out in the field while we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Well, I can't talk about Suvi. She's sitting right there. <laughs> I'm not listening. You can say whatever you like. Uh, so she is listening. Oh, no. I'm not falling for that again. Yes, I believe in a higher power. I know it's a little odd, but I am a scientist because. Science brings me closer to something greater than myself. If we can figure out how to control the vaults, we could turn these worlds into perfect habitats. That sounds nice. And here's where Capote's adventure continues. Yeah, we wanted to go back to the Nexus and speak with Addison's assistant first. And then we have to do some more stuff on the Nexus as well. So let's go there. Pathfinder, is it true? We're settling Eos. We've thought that before. But Eos is different now, right? Pathfinder. All right, settle down. Give him space. Lieutenant Syax, Kendros's aide. They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's been a while. Uh, let's say it's a good day to party. Yeah. Relax, Lieutenant. If there was ever a day to pop some champagne. Certainly. The initiative's finally back on track. Professor Herrick, right? What you achieve with that remnant vault is unprecedented, Pathfinder. Impossible. But with new scientific talent waking up, we'll unravel those mysteries. The whole Nexus will benefit. Well, then it isn't impossible, it may be improbable. Hmm. Um. This proves our resilience. The outpost has a good leader. No, let's go for that. We've taken some hard knocks, but this proves we'll always get up again. Always. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a new world out there. Thank you, Ryder. Oh, I have to speak to the journalist again. Okay, I will do that later on. Uh, Vladimir. Please address concerns first with Director Addison. One must obey protocol. You're joking, right? I have to talk to her first? Okay. You've shaken things up, Pathfinder. My department actually has colonial affairs to direct. And you have new tools to help grow the initiative. AVP, ready for spending. What the hell is AVP? I'm not a bookkeeper. <laughs> I'll do the exploring. Don't you have someone else to track the numbers? Get off your perch. This is where numbers become lives. You and your team are out there making Andromeda viable. That empowers all of us. Hit a threshold. A new cryo group can be brought out. Want more focus on research, like on Prodromos? That's your call. Brecker will introduce the interface and handle minutiae. All you need to do is decide what life in Andromeda means. No pressure. Um. Okay. So now let's talk to him. Hello, Pathfinder. I am Cryo Deployment Administrator Vladimir Brecker, C63 Galati. Your first task is to decide irrevocably the course of every life in the initiative. Whoa, that seems like... too much. Yes, of course. But now you respect what we're doing. Andromeda viability and Nexus thresholds are your tools, your rewards, and our future. How can I help? I don't like this man. Somehow I don't like him. Um... Uh, let's go for Andromeda Viability Point. Oh, that's what AVP means. Andromeda Viability Points. Okay. What's the rundown on AVP? 
Much of the preparation in the Milky Way was determining how to measure success. Thresholds are about capacity, but this is about cost, what we can actually afford to support. Points aren't the most elegant system, but it makes it clear. The more you earn, the more we can deploy. Mm -hmm. Okay. How are you measuring thresholds? It's based on resource estimates and general stability, a metric of acceptable scope and risk. The more you achieve, the greater capacity we can accommodate, the more the initiative can do for you. Simplest explanation? The more you do, the more room we have to grow. Mm -hmm. So I decide what groups to wake up. Won't everyone be out eventually? Absolutely. But there's an order to things, a lines of support. You can't deploy an omelette without first deploying eggs. And eggs won't get you steak. Except it's people and how all our lives begin. Okay, so where do we start? All right, Brecca. Where do I start? The interface is active and will respond only to a Pathfinder. It's ready for your first selection. You may begin shaping the initiative at your leisure. Spend AVP to gain perks. Okay, but that was actually not what I wanted to do. No, no, don't talk to me now. Um, I want to speak with Addison's assistant on the Nexus. Well, that's the guy I'm standing in front to, right? So we have to talk to him again? We await your first application of AVP, Pathfinder. Just access the interface. Okay, so I have to continue that before I can speak with him eventually. So, uh, let's do that. Triangle Andromeda viability points. Uh, one cryopod available for awakening on the Tempest. Oh. Cool. Um, about viability. Andromeda viability points represent the collective integrity of your colonization efforts in Andromeda. Earn AVP by scouting planets, making allies, defeating threats, repairing damaged environments and other actions that make Helios a better home. Nexus level. Earn enough AVP and your Nexus level will increase, allowing you to awaken more colonists from cryosleep. Once you've earned a Nexus level, go to the Cryopod, uplink in Nexus Ops or the Research Room of the Tempest to choose which pod you want to open. Um, okay. Planetary Viability. While AVP and Nexus level represent your overall pro progress in making Helios a home, Certain individual planets also have their own viability rating. When you earn AVP on a potential colony world, the viability rating of that planet will increase up to a maximum of 100%. Most worlds allow you to establish an outpost once you've reached 40% viability, though additional actions may be necessary. Additionally, special cryopods may become available based on the viability of specific worlds. Alright, so Aeos is at 80%. We are at level 2. We can... Awaken one cryopod on the Tempest. So we can do that when we are back on the Tempest? Do we have to go there first? Really? There's a terminal next to me? Okay. Okay, so we have three different pods. Science, Military and Commerce. Science pods. Uh, selected for their years of field experience and ingenuity under pressure, these scientists expertise... Expert expert Expertise? Expertise? Hmm. Can quickly improve the initiative's research and resource gathering capabilities. Military veterans from across the Milky Way have brought their exp expertise to Andromeda, including advanced combat training and wilderness survival skills. Trade is the lifeblood of civilization. These talented merchants and entrepreneurs can use their connections to acquire rare items, grow financial investments, or improve inventory management. Okay, so we have one cryopod point available, 17 perks in total. Oh, okay. This will be first. We will reveal the hidden caches around established forward stations, and after that we will go for advanced training to get more experience points. Yes. Very nice. Yeah, now we speak with Addison's assistant on the Nexus. 
Pathfinder, AVP leveling continues as per your directions. And of course, the interface remains accessible for any future adjustments. Sweet protocol and process. Now we are leaving. Um, <laughs> let's start with his story. Why'd you join the initiative? I was a teacher. A good life. I could see the positives and negatives right through to the end. You did the math and it said, come to Andromeda? <laughs> no. I just didn't like being able to see the end. Here, I don't have a clue what tomorrow will bring. Feels more like living. Well, it sounds, sounds more like surviving. Um, initiative status. What's your take on the state of the initiative? Please consult the AVP interface. It has a thorough breakdown of your progress. And your personal opinion? Your progress thrills me. Make my job obsolete, Pathfinder. I dare you. <laughs> okay, now we're going here. Getting someone out of cryo. I have a specific person I want brought out of cryo. Name and designation if available. That's it? You'll just do it? Nowhere in my job description does it say, argue with the Pathfinder. Hmm. That said, I record all interactions. If something you ask for causes trouble, there will be no doubt that you're responsible. Of course. Yeah, Tech Darket Tyrion. Let's keep this between us. Here's the info. Deployment will begin shortly. Is there anything else, Pathfinder? Ah, uh, that's actually it. Thank you so much. Another time. Pathfinder. Return to P Prodromos. Okay, so uh, let's talk to him. Confront Nilkin. I want to finish the murder case. I hear you went down to Eos. Did you find anything to help my case? Um, I want to say yes and no. An enemy blast to the back killed the chief. Your shot missed. But what? You, you're kidding me. Thank the spirits. This is no, great. it's not. Hold on there. The chief's Omni tool recorded you over the body. Sam, playback. Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. I'm not dying on this rock. Shit. Mm -hmm. Not only did you think you killed him, you meant to. But you just said I didn't, so it doesn't matter, right? The conviction will have to be overturned. The sentence thrown out. Um, actually, the intent to killing somebody is already punishable. But not as high as if you would kill somebody. So, um, but I, w I don't want to be the bad guy. Let's Tan decide. <laughs> Director Tan will determine what's to be done. You did try to cover it all up. Yeah. Look, I'm sorry I lied, but if my shot missed, I'm innocent. Plain and No, you're not. We'll see about that. This is there's no innocence just because you missed him. You're kidding. Good to see you. Hello. Director Tan is expecting you. Who are you? Last time I was here, this was a storage closet. Pathfinder Hall just needed a Pathfinder to open. We're still getting the common barrier ready. Hydroponics is only at partial capacity. Not good enough. We don't have enough people. My workers need a break, Tan. I sympathize, but not until our survival is no longer at risk. Now please excuse me while I meet with our Pathfinder. Hey, Ryder. Addison told me about the outpost. You're the hero of the hour. Well, I'm not a hero. Not yet. Let's hold off on the celebration. We haven't found home yet. Oh, there's no need for modesty. Success affords leverage over those who doubted you. And you're my best friend? A patron. One who shares your vision of a prosperous future. I still don't know what to make of this guy. Um, but he says he's patron. That's, that, that's actually nice. I suppose we agree on that much. I knew that given a chance, your talents would emerge. Deciphering the vault, alien terraforming. It's not how we imagined all this, but a good Pathfinder improvises. And a great one hangs it on the wall. Oh. Nice. Yours are the first trophies to grace Pathfinder Hall. You're a symbol now, Ryder. A reason for people to believe. Oh, thank you. It was a yeah, it was definitely a team effort. 
It wouldn't have been possible without my crew. They're a talented bunch. But you're their beacon. Careful. You'll end up adopting you, right? <laughs> ah, my staff. Colleagues, you wouldn't be looking to cut us out, would you, Tan? I remind you, I am the director of the initiative. Acting director. All opinions matter, come on. This isn't the time for arguing over who gets to be king. Too much is at stake. We should be cooperating. That's what I've been saying since we arrived. Mm -hmm. Then I look forward to winning our Pathfinder support. I have concerns about your decision on Eagle's Rider. An outpost full of scientists won't do as much good if the Ket attack. But it will help support the Nexus. Improved research could help feed our people. Yes. And we could argue about it all day long, as we always do. The decision was made. Now we move on. What is your plan for moving on, Ryder? Um, we have a lead on the terraforming network. I need to take the Tempest deeper into the sector to investigate. If the other Golden Worlds are where they should be, this could get us closer to them. Careful. The Ked are scouring the cluster for remnant technology. You'll end up in a fight, for sure. You might also run into exiles. They didn't leave the Nexus on good terms. And we still need more outposts. They're important to expanding the station. Though with Ark still missing, this could be a chance for Ryder to search for mm -hmm. them. Yes, I think that's best. You have my permission. Permission? I don't need permission. I wasn't really asking for it. Of course. I support that kind of enthusiasm. Right. Is he thinking he's above me? Are you kidding? Oh, that was the uh, main objective. Ryder, this is Harry back on the arc. Yes. Go ahead. We may have found a way to talk to your sister, sort of. Drop by when you can. Hyperion Medbay. We'll do. In just a bit. Um, a reminder, you have ADP outstanding. Yeah. Right. Have to talk to Addison's assistant about viability perks. Sounds useful. Just a bit. Uh, where the hell am I now? Oh. Okay, I get it. Uh, before we talk to him again, let's take a look around here. Oh, there's a memorial. With solemn pride, we remember those who gave their lives and in service of exploration and discovery. Hmm. Picture's gone. Okay. Planetary Hollow. Ah, oh, that is this one. Okay. Don't need to take a look at that. What else do we have? Cora, what are you doing here? Whole mood of the Nexus has changed since Eos. You really can feel it. New outpost, our Pathfinder's help, people waking up. It's a fresh start. Yeah, let's keep up the good work. Can't relax yet. The initiative still has a lot of promises to keep. And that's on us. But it's damn good to know we're on the right track. Mm hmm THV Ravuna. A model of the Ravuna, an early Turian starship and their first to travel beyond a mass relay. Huh? SSV Normandy SR2. Secretly acquire blueprints of the SSV Normandy SR2, a stealth frigate, a frigate based on designs co-developed by the Systems Alliance and the Turian Hierarchy. Ha. And ESAV Majriti, maybe? Hum Humanity's first crewed iron engine starship built using technology proven by the ESA Smart One probe in 2003 CE. Ah, yeah. There's a data pad. Notable European interplanet interplanetary missions. Donated to the Andromeda Initiative Historical um, Records Council. All dates are in common era. Okay, so 1985 to 1992, Giotto. First ESA deep space mission. First ESA mission to intercept an asteroid. Halley and Greek Skielirup. 1990, launch of the Hubble Space Telescope. I remember that. 1992, Ulysses, first ESA mission to Sol, first polar orbit around Sol. Five years later, Hugens, Hygens, I don't know, first ESA mission to Titan, a Saturn moon 
2003, Mars Express, first ESA mission to Mars. Also in 2003, Smart One, first mission to Luna. One year later, Rosetta, first mission to orbit an asteroid. 2006, Venus Express, first mission to Venus. And first successful landing on an outer solar system world on Titan. 2014, Rosetta, first artificial probe to make a soft landing on an asteroid. 2016, Exxon Mars, first probe landing on Mars. And th I think this game was made in 2017, so the following dates will be in the future. 2018, Bepi Colombo, first mission to Mercury. And I'm pretty sure we didn't do that. <laughs> uh, 2022, Juice, first mission to the Jupiter system. Well, let's see if we are going there sometime. Okay, just some suits. You've had a year to think yeah, he's talking to somebody. Is there something else to find? No. So let's talk to him. Stop talking. Ryder, you're off to a promising start. I meant what I said. You are a symbol now of hope that things will get better. Though I worry about this terraforming network. What do we really know about it? It's like nothing we've ever seen. It's clear somebody had big plans for this cluster. But who? Not sure yet, but at least we're on the trail. Did you have some other business? Yes, the Nilkin murder charge. Director, I checked out that murder. Nilkin didn't do it, but there's proof that he meant to. This is unfortunate. Mm -hmm. We're trying to give the people a sense of stability, leadership they think they can count on. And we're setting precedent for justice here in Andromeda. Now this, a convicted murderer who didn't commit the murder. Hmm. Hmm. I would say justice is complicated. I sympathize. What, 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 what are you sympathizing to the murder or to the attempted murder or that it's just hard to do to, to, to justice? Let's just go for that. These things are almost never black and white. I know. If we suppress the evidence and uphold the conviction, we're banishing a man for a crime he technically didn't commit. True. If we throw the conviction out, we're freeing a man who tried to take matters into his own hands, then covered it up. Also true. Your investigation complicated this. You should take responsibility for the outcome. Do we still exile him for murder? Oh my god, really? I have to decide that. Um... And no, I would exile him for murder, because he didn't commit a murder. But I wouldn't release him, because he intended to kill somebody. I w maybe I would release him, but with, um, like on probation, so to say. Let's see how we can do that. It was crazy down there, life and death. But his shot didn't kill Reynolds. We have to let him go. You're a bottom line type of person. I hope we don't regret it. All right, so be it. He will do community service for his role in the chaos, but he's a free yep. man. Well, at least we'll have this sordid business behind us. I hope so. Nice. Yeah. Good, we will do that one first. The firefighters, Dr. Aridana has attempted to contact you. Speak to her at the Nexus Tech Labs. We will do that first and then we'll do the rest here on Nexus. New location discovered Tech Lab. Oh, I haven't been here before. Okay, I can't go in there, so this is only that way. Okay, they are just talking to each other. Um, let's just see if there's something else in here. No, it doesn't look like it. So let's talk to Dr. Aridana. Hello, Pathfinder. A moment. Of course. What can I do for you, Doctor? I have a math problem. Some vital equations that only a mind like Sam's could Okay. Solve. They concern strange transmission patterns in the Scourge. Perhaps random noise. Perhaps not. Uh, yeah. It's worth looking into. That could be a ship. Or even turbulence in a Scourge we should know about. Given the complexity and the security implications, I recommend transferring the equations directly into SAM node. I have them on an optical storage disk for you. 
I'll see if I have time. Thank you, Pathfinder. Please thank Sam as well. Of course I will, but actually you should put on some lights here. It's pretty dark. And why are you hugging me? Um, okay. Run the equations at Sam node on Arc Hyperion. Ah, yeah. Let's do that. Angry woman? Wait, why is she angry? What do you mean? Is there a problem? Your father is my problem. He's everyone's Well, he's problem. dead. We're all paying for Alec Ryder's ego. He preyed on Jean Garson's trusting nature and bulldozed us to this godforsaken place. Now she's dead, and we'll all soon follow. Uh, he's dead too. Hey, my dad died for this dream. He was trying to fix things for all of us. Some dream. He fixed us all right. Go to hell, oh, fuck off! Can I punch her? No, I can't. It's the last time I'm talking to an angry woman. Ah, here we are again. Welcome back, Ryder. Um, I have equations for you. Dr. Arbordana at the tech lab sent some equations for you to solve. I'm ready. Transferring them now. Have fun. Uh, help Sam. Hey, what the? Sam! Malicious code detected. Please stand by. Malicious Sam. code? Attempting to come from on malicious code. Please stand by. Is there anything I can do? Sam! Is that another malfunction or. Oh! Sam, you trying to show me something? Okay, I think I got it. Yeah. That. Sam, talk to me! Hello, Pathfinder. Please initialize the console to restore normal operations. The console? Okay. Sam, what happened? The equations contained a Trojan horse program. Awesome. A virus, specifically targeted to sever our connection and render me helpless. Reconnecting would be impossible. So... Did it hurt? How do you feel? Are you okay? I cannot feel pain. However, I would avoid repeating the experience, which is the purpose of pain in organic life. Yeah, it is. Unlock the door. Let's head to the tech lab and see what Dr. Aradana has to say. All right, let's go back. So, doctor, talk to me. What was that with the virus? Scourge. We know it is neither Nebula nor H2. Wait, wait. So what is it? Welcome, Pathfinder. Did Sam solve the equations I Did sent? you put the virus in? Solve them. They almost brought down Sam Node. The equations contained a virus designed to target artificial intelligence. You think I... Never. I abhor violence against any life, organic or synthetic. Mm, okay, I'm inclined to believe you, but I don't want to know how that happened, so... I'm sure you wouldn't hurt me or Sam, but I need to investigate. I understand. Hmm. I've seen a lot of down with AI sentiment lately. Graffiti. Complaints to ten. Perhaps someone took the next step. Why would anyone hate artificial intelligence? Synthetic life has different needs and motivations. It can be mysterious and powerful. Many fear what is not understood. Um, actually, I understand the fear, but I thought we are so far along in the time that we don't need to fear anything. Um, let's say it's stupid. If graffiti is the best they can do, maybe they could use some artificial intelligence. Entire species were driven into exile by AI they created, champ. That leaves well. a mark. Attacking Sam is bold, though. I wonder if there have been similar hmm. incidents. The AI kiosk was busted this morning. I can look around. All right, look for anti-AI activity on the Nexus. Um, yeah, then let's do that. I want to finish this quest before I continue with uh, the rest of the side missions. So let's just go ahead. Um, this way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Somebody tampered with her. Detecting Pathfinder Rider. Hi there. Excuse the educational stuff. I hacked Athena as a sock puppet. So our virus set you free. Hope you're doing better without that AI jammed in your head. You wanted to help me, really? You sent that virus to free me from Sam? Not just me. Our movement. 
gonna let you suffer with that day in your brain. Pathfinder, it's possible they don't realize their virus failed. Pretending that it worked might mm -hmm. trust. Let's do that. Hello? Ryder? Um Yeah, let's say I feel weird without Sam. Oh no. No Sam. I'm great. Yeah. Yes, I I can't believe I'm free. Thank you. This is what our movement is for. Helping Okay, so who are you? Knights as human AI merges as a threat to all life. She'd know. She? Oh, Knights are founder. The virus wouldn't exist without Can I meet her? I should thank Knight in person. I'll ask her. She might even give you a tour of our Ooh, cool. Great, thanks. Can't promise anything, but watch your email. Okay, so I have to take a look at my emails then. All right. Um. A whole movement of AI hating hackers with a leader called Knight. She and her followers seem to have experience with human AI partnership. If they attack you, they're capable of anything. I'll check my email. We need to find them. Mm -hmm. On hold, wait for an email from Knight. Okay. Yeah, we will go and um, visit our sibling in Hyperion's Cryo Bay. So let's take a look at our sister and how she's doing. Dr. Carlisle. Harry, what's happening with Sarah? Well, we got her out of the pod. I don't want to get your hopes up, but Sam managed to uh, bind her, you might say. Mm -hmm. I don't follow. Well, she's still in a coma, but she also has an implant like yours, and Sam managed to access it. Okay. He's made contact. That's great. That's incredible. She's okay. Vitals are steady. But I'm letting Sam take the lead on this one. They're in a coma. Sarah's mental processes remain intact. So, is she okay? You can ask her yourself. A moment while I establish a link with her implant. Cool. What the hell? Proceed. Sarah? Can you hear me? Is that you, little brother? What's happening? Where am I? There was a problem with your stasis pod. You're in a coma on the Hyperion. Do you understand? Uh, I think so. Am I dreaming? <laughs> Sam linked into your implant, but they say you're stable. You're safe and sound in the med bay. This is so it, weird. Yeah, it's really weird. I hear you, but I can't feel anything. Where's dad? Ah, uh, shit. Should we be honest or should we say he's on a mission, but then she could be pissed when she wakes up and she knows he's dead and... Hmm... Actually, I'm an honest person, so... I don't know how to say this, but... He's dead, Sarah. What? It was a freak accident. But... It's dead. He can't die. I know. It's been hard on everyone. I didn't get to say goodbye. No one did. What about finding home? Dad kept telling me how beautiful it would be. Hmm. Shit. I, I don't want to get get her hopes up when then she's awake and she sees that's not worth it. But it didn't work is also wrong because we find we found a place on Eos at least for now. But it's not even better. I wouldn't say even better. Ah, shit. There's been some complications. The Golden Worlds didn't exactly deliver. But Dad said. Yeah, well, he said a lot when he was alive, so. Sarah? I. Am I dreaming? Where am I? Sarah, I'm sorry. Pulse rate is Shit, I shouldn't have done that. I need to go now. That's enough. It's too mm, stressful. Yeah, I thought so. Sarah. That was an abrupt ending, but um Okay. That's our next objective. Um by all accounts, William Spender is a difficult man. But there's reason to suspect that the assistant director of colonial affairs is actively working to undermine the Krogan. Drag has asked you to investigate Spender's activities. 
So let's go and find him. Ah. Um. Watch your tone. You saw what happened to the Krogan. But we need this equipment. What? Well, you're not getting it. Stop making frivolous requests. It's not a frivolous request. Properly functioning air filters are at frivolous. You'll just have to make do. We can't fix the station breathing bad air. Um, okay. He seems to be a little bit rude. Del, what's going on? Your incompetence isn't my problem. Just do your job. What do you want? Mm, that didn't look fun. Yeah, definitely. Sounds like you're having a rough day. You saw that, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I well, it's fine. You. The way Spender treats me? Everyone. I'm just so angry. I don't understand how he's in any position of authority. Um, let's put some more fire into the, oh, my wood into the fire. I haven't heard much good about that guy. Whatever you've heard, it's not half as bad as the reality. Just last week, he tried to redirect some of the supplies we need to keep the stasis pods going. Really? Why? I have no idea. But if Kesh hadn't stepped in and threatened to airlock him, it would have been a disaster. He's always like that. Making bad decisions, driving the Krogan away, treating people like scum when no one's watching. Hmm, okay, and what can I do in that? Maybe there's something I can do? A man like that's bound to have some dirt. I wish Tan and Addison could see it. Things have gotten so bad that Kesh had to literally kick him out of engineering. How literal are we talking here? Boot to ass. Oh, it was <laughs> We need him gone, but as incompetent as Spender is at his job, he's insanely good at keeping hmm. it. Kesh can tell All him right, more. so we have to talk to Kesh. Yeah, that's the next objective. So let's go to that. Oh, to her. Uh, oh, Drag is here as well. Oh, cool. How many times have I told you this? Which one? <laughs> Rude shot. That's not funny. <laughs> Actually it is. Uh now I don't have to talk to him. Let's talk to her. Dell told me you saw her arguing with Spender. Pyjack's doing his best to throttle my department. How's he getting away with that? Spender doesn't know the first thing about engineering, but he knows how to play people. More importantly, he still talks to the exiles. I'm sure of it. I just can't prove it without your help. Of course, what can I do? This needs to be investigated. I'm glad someone thinks so. Talk to Kandros. He likely has security footage of some kind of evidence. But you'll have to convince him to authorize release. All right. Kandros. Kandros. Who was Kandros again? I will find out. Nothing more for now. Try not to die out there. All right. Speak with Kandros. Um, he's over there. What? Thanks for helping Raja Sara find Addison. He's not getting out of Lockwood for a while. Ah, okay. I get it. Ah, yeah. This one. That's Kendros. Firearm proficiency is up. No? What's up? Glad to see you finally. I hear you've been busy out there. That's what. What do you mean finally? If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. Okay, um, security footage. I was told I should talk to you about the mutiny. I wasn't on the Nexus when it happened. I started reading up on it, but you know how things get around here. Do you know where Spender was during that time? Why Spender? Wait, you think he might have had something to do with the mutiny? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Just trying to sort things out. You know, the logs I did look through showed a few discrepancies. I meant to dig deeper. If you're investigating, how about I give you access to the security vid archives? Thank you. That's very helpful. No, that's actually it, buddy. Thanks a lot. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. So, re review Nexus security footage. That should be over... I thought it was over there, but... Uh, okay, this way. Huh, this file won't play. Sam, can you boost the quality? Processing. Initiated. What is he looking at? <laughs> is he handing something over to one of the mutineers? Take this. It'll help you. Don't. I am sorry, Pathfinder. 
This backup file is corrupted. The audio tracks are heavily. But do we have some pictures? The original, and this version was restored during a system wide reset. That is definitely suspicious. That is not a coincidence, I would say. Sounds like a cover up to me. I concur. While I cannot restore any more audio, the location appears to be Kadara. How do you figure? In common parlance, lip reading. Ah. I do not recognize the location from any current data. It appears mountainous and populated. Hmm. We will need to find the planets before I can confirm. I will contact you via my node. Interesting. Confront Spender about security footage. All right. So we have to go to another. Let's go confront him. Yeah, I want to do that. Don't. Why are you telling me what I'm gonna do anyways? So, um, yeah, let's do that. And we have to go to another planet. It lo looks like as well. 